So when you're a tourist, for instance, you can go to a nice restaurant dressed badly, which by local standards can mean that you're an American in a loud shirt or uh, shorts, uh, flip-flop shoes, really casual. And hey, you're a tourist, pretty much everyone will ignore it and no one will say anything, you get by with it. But you have to realize that say, for the people that are in a proper restaurant with you when you're dressed like that, they don't appreciate it. You may not say anything, but they don't appreciate it. You're just a clumsy tourist. So being aware of things like the fact that in many countries, adults don't wear shorts. Uh, you don't go to a nice restaurant with flip flops and you don't go to a nice restaurant with a t-shirt. Be aware and dress properly. It's a subtle thing, but your acceptance level from the people around you will increase. They appreciate the fact that you're showing that you know how you're supposed to behave in this country. So that's one example I would say of uh, tourist versus guest. Uh, perhaps the most famous country for this is Thailand. You'll see lots of young people that think Thailand is some kind of mecca for misbehavior, and that because would include, say, um, womanizing, uh, drinking too much, being drunk in public, uh, doing drugs, dressing badly or hardly at all, parading around in shorts only when everybody wears a shirt. All this type of misdeed. And people think like, oh, Thailand, it's super tolerant. Uh, well, they're tolerant of you because they know you're an ignorant, badly behaved tourist who's a poor representative of your country. In fact, in Thailand, th those behaviors are not sanctioned any more so than they are in any other country. So that's one little rant I like to have about uh, backpackers that think because people are turning a blind eye towards their misbehavior and not coming over and tell them off like people might in the U.S., that it's all okay. So pay some attention. So I've been fortunate in my life in that a long time I lived in San Francisco over 20 years. And San Francisco and California is a very diverse city. The population is about one third white, one third every sort of Asian, one third uh, mixed Latino and the remaining percentage black. And living there for so long, you ended up in the melting pot. And I had a lot of Asian friends and Latin friends. And let me give an example about learning about cultures that I picked up in San Francisco long ago. And this was in particular through the real estate industry that I worked in. So if you've been to an Asian friend's house, you know that when you walk in the door, there's something you need to do. This comes off. You don't wear shoes, you're dirty outside shoes in the house in an Asian household. And often there's just uh, piles of slippers to put on while you're in the house. Well, uh, hmm, what do you think about that? Uh, we wear shoes in our house, but uh, think about it. This is something we can learn from another culture. You have been tramping up and down sidewalks, escalators, elevators, in the gutter, in the mud, in the dirt, on a trail, etc., etc. Uh, think about what's on the bottom of your shoes. Now into the house you come, onto the carpet, and in you track it. So it didn't take me very long after learning this custom and appreciating the point of it, where I had some Asian friends that I knew very well and were also American born, and so they had the Asian thing going on and also some blunt American thing going on. And they said, well, Pierre, yeah, think about it. Your shoes are filthy. What do you want to track all that in your house for? Gee, that's a good idea. So uh, I stopped wearing my shoes in my house. And uh, if you set your shoes by the front door, when people come over, they pretty much see that and uh, pick it up. Uh, let me explain a little thing I learned too from my Latin friends there. Uh, it seemed like my Latin friends had not just big families, but dozens of cousins. And after a while you figure out like, these people aren't all cousins. But if you've been friendly with somebody and close to them and your families or friends uh, for a long time, eventually you get promoted from friend to cousin. So just a couple little examples you can pick up in the US. And you know, maybe you weren't raised with those customs, but if you spend some time trying to understand it, 
it can be a good idea, like taking your shoes off in the house, or quite endearing that when you find out you get promoted to uh, cousin or maybe even brother. 